God bless. God bless. Welcome, welcome. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless. All right. We're going to open up with Holy Spirit prayer. So, O Holy Spirit, beloved of my soul, I adore you. Enlighten me, guide me, strengthen me, console me. Tell me what I should do. Give me your orders. I promise to submit myself to all that you desire of me and to accept all that you permit to happen to me. Let me only know your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Good Friday. Bless Friday. All right. So, first message is it came to pass. It came to pass. It came to pass. And God said, he sent angel. Angel said, it's going to hurt. I'm preparing you now. He sent, he sent two angels. Two angels said, it's going to hurt. I need you to prepare yourself. It came to pass. So it's, it's someone you care about very much. It's someone that you love, but right now you need to love the Lord more than anything. Okay. Um, to be able to do his will. Amen. And, um, I heard in my spirit the Lord really put it on my heart. I have came Lord not to bring peace but a sword. It's Matthew. gotta bear with me I had it here it is not peace but a sword okay do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth I have not come to bring peace but a sword okay it's wartime and this is exactly why the Lord needs to have like he needs me to have all my faith in him all right so if, if, if you're in your season of warfare then that's just what it is I have not come to bring peace but a sword for I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves a son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life will find it for my sake. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. All right. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. The Lord is on his way. Hold steady fast to your crown. Hold steady fast to everything. All right. The Lord is coming. So uh, the scriptures that I got for this, I got three of them. And again, he brought me back to Nehemiah. I don't know if I want to start from the top. No. I'm just going to start at the last paragraph. In Judah it was said, The strength of those who bear the burdens is failing. There is too much rubble. By ourselves we will not be able to rebuild the wall. And our enemies said, They will not know or see it till we come among them and kill them and stop the work. At that time, the Jews who lived near, who lived near them, came from all directions and said to us ten times you must return to us so in the lowest parts of the space behind the wall in open places i stationed the people by their clans with their swords their spears and their bows and i looked and arose and said to the nobles and to the officials and to the rest of the people do not be afraid of them remember the lord who is great and awesome and fight for your brothers your sons your daughters your wives and your homes okay specifically someone is trying to regain entry but they're coming to finish the job okay the the paragraph before that says but when Sambalot and Tobiah and the Arabs and the Amorites Ammonites and the Ashadites heard that the repairing of the walls of Jerusalem was going forward and that the breaches were being beginning to be closed they were very angry right they, they can't get in anymore and they all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem and to cause confusion in it. That is Satan, which we rebuke. So someone, someone wants to get into your space so that they can finish the job. Remember, they don't, they, they've already shown their hand, right? This person has no love for you. This person has no respect for you. This person, th this person, 
I already said they already showed their hand, but they've showed also their intent with their hand. That they have they, they have no regard for you, anything that is yours, and they only come to destroy, to, to steal, kill, and destroy. They only come to finish the job. So um, th this person, you have given, I have given this person a chance, and they, they have not came through um, with, with an apology of any kind. They, they, they're only coming back to finish the job. So the Lord said, this one is going to hurt, right? You have a very loving heart. This one's going to hurt. But I need you to, to put me first, okay? And the Lord is coming. And they all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem and to cause confusion in it. And we prayed to our God and set a guard as a protection against them day and night. Wow. All right. Do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome and fight for your brothers, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. Okay? Now, that was scripture. Scripture one. Did I give this one yet? All right. That was Nehemiah. The fall of AI. This was this is Joshua eight, and it says, "And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear and do not be dismayed. Take all of the fighting men with you, and arise, go up to AI. See, I have given into your hands the king, the king of AI and his people, his city and his land, and you shall do to AI and its kings as you did to Jericho and its king." Only its spoils and livestock you shall take as a plunder for yourselves. Lay in ambush against the city and lay in ambush against the city behind it. All right. So that's the Lord saying go mode. Um, the last one laws concerning warfare. Just the first paragraph. When you go out to war against your enemies and see horses, chariots and an army larger than your own, you shall not be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is with you, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Okay, so obviously you're facing a, a multitude or something greater than yourself, right? This is someone who has recruited people. This is this is a vast effort, right? Horses, chariots, and an army larger than your own. But the Lord is with us. Amen. And when you draw near to battle. The priest shall come forward and speak to the people and shall say to them, Hear, O Israel, today you are drawing near for the battle against your enemies. Let not your heart faint. Do not fear or panic or be in dread of them. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies and to give you victory. Okay. The Lord, the, the Lord's the best shooter I've ever had. Amen. The Lord doesn't miss. The Lord doesn't miss. Thank you, Lord. Now, the next sentence says, Then the officers shall speak to the people, saying, Are you going to listen to the prophet, the priest who God has sent, his chosen, to let you know that he is with you to strap up for battle, right? Right? Or are you going to listen to man? Because look at what man says. Then the officers shall speak to the people saying, Is there any man who has built a new house and has not dedicated to him? Not, has not dedicated it? Let him go back to his house, lest he die in the battle and another man dedicate it. And is there any man who has planted a vineyard and has not enjoyed its fruit? Let him go back to his house, lest he die in the battle and another man enjoy its fruit. And is there a, any man who has betrothed a wife and has not taken her? Let him go back to his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man take her. And the officers shall speak further to the people, and say, Is there any man 
who is fearful and faint-hearted, let him go back to his house, lest he make the heart of his fellows melt like his own. And when the officers have finished speaking to the people, the command, the commanders shall appoint at the head of the people. Now, understand that this is this is also a military tactic as well. Who here doesn't want to go to war, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have, I have I have kids. My wife has this, or uh, blah blah blah, right? And there's there's times where you go back to back appointments and whatnot. Um, or you do certain back-to-back -back tours or missions. And that's also like a test to see how much of a force you actually do have, right? Um, yeah, you can you can command people to, to go. But how effective is it? Now, understand that that's also a tactic that the enemy would use. He'll use a man to say go go back home don't 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 go to war be comfortable do you know what you're fighting for do you know what you're fighting for do you know why the lord needs you right because we all have our own battles right we all have our own our own uh our own hurdles we have our own warfare right whether that's what did i say a mother against her daughter-in-law father against his son your enemies will be that of his own household right and there's certain people that want you to forfeit your promise there's certain people that don't want you to fight for what's yours <sighs> do not fear or panic or be in dread of them for their lord your god is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you the victory so if i know that i'm going to get the victory through who through the lord my god amen why why would i not show up come on now is there anything else okay so just to reiterate that was the first one. And then the second one was the fall of Ai. And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear and do not be dismayed. Take all of the fighting men with you and arise, go up to Ai. See, I have given into your hand the king of Ai and his people and his city and his land. The Lord already set the stage. The Lord set the stage. He gave you everything to crush them. Right, And you shall do to Ai and its kings as you did to Jericho and its kings. Only its spoils and its livestock you shall take as plunder for yourselves. Lay an ambush against the city behind it. They're not going to know what hit them. They're not going to know what hit them. And then the other one was Nehemiah. It's called Opposition to the Work. Is it this one? Yeah. I'll, I'll just start from the beginning. Now when Sand Sanballat heard that, that we were rebuilding, that we were building the wall, he was angry and greatly enraged, and he jeered at the Jews. And he said in the presence of his brothers, and of the army of Samaria. What are these feeble Jews doing? Will they restore it for themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they finish up in a day? Will they revive the stones of the heaps of rubbish and burned ones at that? Tobiah and the Amorites were beside him and said, Yes, what they are building, if a fox goes up, if a fox goes up on it, he will break down their stone wall. Hear, O our God. Hear, O our God, for we are despised. Turn back their taunt on their own heads and give them up to be plundered in a land where they are captives. Do not cover their guilt and let not their sin be blotted out from your sight. For they have provoked you to anger in the presence of the builders. Right? You're just doing you. You're just building your wall. You're just building a temple for God. You are literally just serving the Lord.
And because they can't breach, because they understand now that they can't breach the wall. You have your, your boundaries up. Everything that they did against you is going to fall back on them. But the Lord needs you to prepare the way. I, I just know that when I read it, the Lord said, I have come. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. Right? The, the Lord is, is, and that's Lord Jesus. Today's Good Friday. He is risen. Amen. He has not come to bring peace. He already he already knows their intentions. He's all he's already conquered death. He, he can read their hearts. They've already shown their hand. Therefore, do not be anxious. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food? and the body more than clothing. Look at the air, neither neither they sow nor reap nor gather into the barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, don't be afraid. Your, your Father will tell you what, what to say. not peace but a sword do not think that I have come to bring peace to earth he's the prince of peace you don't bring peace to earth I get it now there's there's nothing but evil on earth for I have come I have come not to bring peace but a sword a sword For I have come to set a man against his father, and a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a person's enemies will be those of his own household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life will find it for my sake. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. So, the Lord, that's warfare. Prepare for war. What, is, what does that even mean, prepare for war? I mean, I don't think you should go and grab your Glock. <laughs> I mean, you could. It's a mindset. It's a mindset. This is spiritual. It's, it's uh, not allowing anyone to enter your presence. Not allowing anyone to interfere with your mindset. Look, at they, mean, they mean to cause confusion. They're only coming back to finish the job. They are angered. Spiritual warfare. That's your warning from the Lord. Prepare for warfare. Continue to work. They are in opposition of your work. They are actually counting. This is what I'm getting in my spirit. They are literally counting down the days. Because they, Satan knows his time is up. Amen. Satan knows his time is up. Well, they, is it going to be done in one day? How many more days do we have? Right, their, their days are numbered. I mean, it's 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 funny because everything they wished on me is just coming right back. Right, say my days are numbered, but I keep waking up. Amen, amen. And I'm I'm telling you, some some people have had some uh, some real, 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 real foul plots and demise for my life, and to know that that malice is actually just being poured back on top of their head so ever so kindly amen look at that ever ever so gently ever so kindly 
like I give a fuck, right? That's not my problem. For thinking that you're my enemy, thinking that, that you're my enemy or that they're your enemy, they're coming against God. So now they are an enemy of God. They don't want you to be fruitful. That's God's promise to you to be fruitful. They don't want you to be married. They don't want you to have, you know, maybe someone on your side. They, they want you to, to go to bed alone. They, they, want, they, they want you in misery because misery loves company. All right? This person could have it all and it's not enough. It's just, it literally gives them pleasure to see you without. And that was the goal. To steal, to kill, to destroy. The Lord already gave you victory. He gave them in your hands. The Lord is coming. I gave another word and I said, all you have to do is start it. And the Lord is going to finish it. We pray to Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a spirit of truth. Everything that is done in the dark shall come to the light. And as much as someone tries to weasel their way in, no. It's going to hurt because remember that your enemies are those of your household. And it came to pass. It's someone that you love very, very much. It's someone that it would, it, it, it's going to hurt. But you got to understand that, that you love the Lord more than that person could ever. That person can do nothing for you but destroy you. That person can do nothing for you but set you up. That person can do nothing for you but steal from your pockets. That person can do nothing from for you but to d destroy the legacy that you intend to build. That person can't do anything for you except be that stumbling block for, for the promises that God has for you. A part of me is actually super pissed. <laughs> a part of me is actually very, very, uh... But you're, you're gonna get yours. You're gonna get yours according... Ah, oh, the, the lot. Mm. That was another word. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. The Lord already has a portion made for you, a lot. But you can't, you can't believe the enemy. You, you cannot believe the enemy. That, that your portion... No, this is your portion. Fuck out of here. This has been mine. Mm. Ah, the word was lot. I'm just going to leave it at that. Prepare for warfare. Uh, continue to build your wall. This time, do not let anyone in at all that the Lord is coming that's today the, to, 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 today that's today the Lord is coming the Lord is on his way I have not come to bring peace but a sword I'm coming I am coming that's literally what I heard I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming to give you the victory I am coming okay I need you to put everyone else behind you get behind me Satan amen I need you to put everyone behind you. I need you to pick up your cross and follow his will. All right, I don't know what that is for you, but it came to pass. So I'm just here to deliver. So God bless you. God be with you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right, God bless. Bye-bye.